At Cancer Treatment Centers of America, what we do is personalized care. Every single patient that comes in here is a person, and we try to treat them that way. Cancer is something that they happen to have that I want to help them fight. Staging is different for each type of cancer, but most of the staging is based on something we call TNM staging. So T looks at the size of the tumor and how invasive it is, how deep into tissue it goes. N is lymph node involvement. It depends on the number of lymph nodes and where those lymph nodes are. And M is based on if we see metastatic disease, meaning if we see disease that spread to other organs. This is a compilation of all information from clinical history, physical examination, imaging study, and a biopsy. So those are all that you can use for clinical staging. For most stalin organ cancers, early stage is generally treated with surgery up front. Sometimes we'll give something before surgery to help shrink it down and make it easier to go to surgery. But for most early stage cancers, stage one or stage two, we usually use surgery up front. And depending on what we see at surgery, we would consider other therapies afterwards, such as radiation, chemotherapy, hormone therapy, things like that. For stage three or stage four disease, it's often a little bit more complicated. And so you would often need upfront therapies with chemotherapy, radiation, hormone therapy. We would use first and then consider surgery in the future if there was something still left over after that treatment. When a patient gets an initial cancer diagnosis, a lot of patients will get a CT of their chest, abdomen, and pelvis. So just a CT through their body. It's important to find other sites of cancer that may be far away from wherever their primary cancer is. A lot of our patients will get something called a PET-CT, which uses sugar metabolism of the cancer to help find the cancer. Uh, we also have MRIs, which use a different technology to help us determine the type of tissue it might be and help stage the patient that way. We'll note all the areas of abnormality, meaning where the cancer spread, and then we'll follow those lesions over time. I think it's hard for a lot of patients uh, when they're told that they have stage four cancer and they just found out they had cancer uh, within the last month. To actually see what I see on the screen sometimes helps patients understand what the oncologist is saying and makes the treatment options make more sense. We work very closely with our radiologists. Whenever a new patient arrives, after we've examined the patient, I would uh, walk to the radiologist and look at the images with them. If something's seen on an imaging with a mammogram or an ultrasound or MRI, our radiologist with a biopsy here. The upstaging would be where if initially we thought the patient was a stage one and then now they're stage two based on either their final pathology size of the tumor or the lymph node status. On the other hand, downstaging would be where we thought the tumor was much larger, and when we go for surgery, it's much smaller. If you are the patient for in terms of staging, it is a very important tool in terms of fighting cancer. It creates a benchmark and has set the standard for determining your prognosis and your ability to fight cancer and what would be the treatment options that you have available for you. That's why staging for you as a patient is very important.